Hi, welcome to Adventure Lunch. I'm Jared Kingery. And I'm Cyber Bob. Hey, where do we go this week? Four Kings in Universal City. Four we Kings. have a picture right here. This is Four Kings in Universal City. This is on Pat Burker Road and Universal City Boulevard. Uh, if you know the area, it's next to West Telemarketing. Yeah. And, uh, There's a CVS across the street. Across the uh, street. This is your neck of the woods. That is my neck you of the woods. You were very impressed that it was your And neck I was woods. also a little upset that I didn't know about it. Yeah. Up until now, because I've been missing all this food. Well, don't uh, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> uh, so, first thing you see when you walk up is the uh, special of the day. And if you follow them on Facebook, uh, like we do, Four Kings, you'll find this special of the day posted. And uh, according to the uh, to the to the staff there, this is what people see. They drive. They, they'll they'll put by, I guess, before the restaurants open. They don't open until ten thirty. Right. They'll see what the special of the day is. And the special of the day uh, for when we went on Tuesday was Greek lemon orzo soup with chicken. And what an interesting flavor that had. That was uh, that was actually suggested. Well, we walk in the door. Right. Walk in the door, and this woman here, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Says, would you like to try a sample of soup? That's that's the greeting you get at Four Kings. Would you like to sample our soup? And our reply was, well, yes. Of, of course we would. <laughs> of course we would. And this is, uh, like like the sign says, a uh, Greek lemon orzo uh, with chicken. And a really interesting flavor. Yeah, the lemon in there. I'm not used to a lemony soup. And that, that was, uh, it was really nice. I really liked it. It was a nice balance. Um, so I ordered a bowl of it. This is my bowl that I ordered. Uh, and uh, we. Uh, and the thing you gotta understand about Four Kings, it's a lunch place. They're open from 10:30 to 4. Right. They do lunch, right. and they do lunch very well. They concentrate on it, and uh, that's. And when you walk in, in fact, there's not really a, a a menu per se. It's it's a it's on the wall, and it does sort of change seasonally, or will change seasonally according to. Uh, they have the daily special that you see outside, and you'll you'll see it at the counter. But these are the sandwiches that you're going to see every day, the, one, the ones you just saw there. And they have a huge clientele in uh, in West Telemarketing. Right, and they only have a certain amount of time to eat their lunch, so they specialize in getting you in and out of, of there quickly. And, and this is in Universal City, where you, like you said, you didn't know about this restaurant, and uh, they've been open for about four months. Yeah, six, four to six months. We yeah. talked to the owners who. Full disclosure. Full here. disclosure. Full disclosure here. Uh, one of the owners is my father's cousin, meaning he's my first cousin once removed. Very this, nice. This restaurant was suggested to us by my grandmother, who who said, "Hey, why don't you go visit my my nephew Mark's uh, restaurant?" And like you said, it's in Universal City, and they told us the reasoning for being behind Universal City. We have a video clip of that. And we had looked at a lot of places in San Antonio, I mean, even out towards Cibolo. But this is it, the community here is, is a really nice, tight community. And this location was available. And it was like, as soon as we saw it, it was like, this is it. And I don't know if it comes through in this video, but these people have got so much charisma. Right. They are the nicest, warmest people. You just want to sit down. Pull up a chair and talk. That's for a what while. we did, and yeah. that uh, uh, Mark is a little quieter. Right. Uh, that's his his wife Sandra, who was once an executive chef. I don't remember the exact place. She told us Hussein Grill or Hussein. Was Hussein? it? I don't remember. Hussein. Okay. Uh, anyway, she she created the menu basically, and uh, Elizabeth, the woman who gave us the soup, is her sister, who we found out is not employed at the restaurant. She just comes in and helps out because she loves doing it. And she runs the place just as much as they do. Though. And She's it's and it's and you can tell right away. That that everybody's heart is in this. Oh yeah, definitely. In fact, Sharon is so particular about her sandwiches. Like when you go in to order a sandwich there, mm -hmm. like she spent a lot of time thinking about the flavor combinations and everything. So if you go into a, 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 a there and start saying, "Well, don't put this and put this and put that <laughs> on the sandwich," it's not. She might throw you out. It's not Subway. <laughs> she it's, might throw you. Right. She might throw you out. So be careful. No, but really, she has put a lot of thought into these sandwiches. So mm -hmm. try them the way she she suggested them because they're really good. And when we walked in, we asked what was good, and and one of the patrons there spoke up right away. Try the turkey. So that's what I decided to try first was the turkey sandwich here, and this uh, you, we've got the menu here. This is the uh, roasted turkey, sliced on a house roll with chipotle mayo, spinach, avocado, and Havarti cheese. And holy cow, this was delicious. I didn't like that one. As, I mean, I loved it. I right. loved it. I didn't like it as much as the, the other two sandwiches we tried. Right. But, you know, just I wanted it, There is an atmosphere that happens as soon as you walk into this place. You know, we were like, what's good here? And a lady turns around and talks to us. Yeah, yeah. There's, it's like everyone there feels like family almost. Right. It's, it's strange. And it's, it's, a, and it's great. It's a lot of, you know, regulars that, like she said, come from West. Yep. Uh, come, they, they, they're in the area, uh, and they know it, and that's why they come every day. They'll come every day. 
we couldn't limit ourselves to just two sandwiches, so we actually ordered three sandwiches. The second sandwich we ordered is this, the roast beef. Now, they actually make their own roast beef there. Look at that. That is, that is sliced roast beef on a pretzel roll with a grain mustard. A pretzel roll. It's, how interesting is that? Grain mustard, caramelized onion, marmalade, spinach, and Coley Jack cheese. Look at the cheese in that thing. Oh. This was a delicious sandwich, too. Very, very good. And you know what? This isn't really, Arby's. This isn't Arby's. No, and beef. what's also neat is they put it in, in the tinfoil like that, but then they take butcher paper and they, they wrap the butcher paper on it and they put a little heart on it and they have a stamp on it. And it's kind of, it's kind of a, a neat concept. How, it doesn't matter if you get it to go over there. That's the way they serve right. it to and you. Right. They, and they said that the, the patrons they've had before, the customers they've had before, missed when they write the heart on it. If they run out of paper, <laughs> they'll say, oh, where's the heart? So they started stamping it. And, Anyway, the third sandwich we got. Now the third, third sandwich. We got three sandwiches between the two of us. Now this is actually called the bon mi, all right? And bon bon mi. Bon mi. Bon mi. B a h n. -I. Let me tell you right now, this is the best sandwich I've ever had in my entire life. I ain't joking, Nate. You think I'm joking? I ain't joking. This is the you, best sandwich in my you life. You were gushing over this sandwich. This is uh, a vegetable. I mean, this is a Vietnamese five spice pork on a baguette, homemade mayo. Carrots. Now, like, and carrots sometimes slaw. with these kind of sandwiches, they put carrots on, but these are actually not just carrots, they're like pickled carrots. It's a carrot slaw, yes, right, with right. Juli uh, julienne, jalapenos, cucumber, and cilantro. And if you have a, like a little tummy, that hurts to go to the jalapenos. They, on they actually they take the, the jalapenos are, are deveined, they take all the seeds out of them, so you just, just a, little, still a wimp. little bit, just the slightest hint of spice in there. I still scraped them off. I didn't like the sandwich as much as you did. It was a little sweeter, but I'm not big on the Asian foods as we've we've talked about before. And of these type of sandwiches that I've tried in the past, I've had them. They're more. They have like a crustier bread that I've tried before, and nowhere near as much meat. All right. Right. That, that was look at that's a lot of meat on this sandwich. And and they make sure they give you your full portion of meat. In fact, they're Elizabeth, very very particular. Elizabeth yeah. is very particular about <laughs> weighing out four ounces of meat. And you know, if you get this sandwich anywhere else, they spread the four ounces over a foot long. And it's, but the combination of the weight, because they make their own bread. And right. they make this bread special, and it just soaks in that, that those five spices of, of the, the Vietnamese uh, spices so perfectly. So every, every taste is just wonderful. And also the vegetables. The, the vegetables they use are from a local, we don't have a still of this, but it's yeah. a local, a local farm-to-market. Called Straight from the Crate. And this is just down the street in right. Universal City. So it's Actually, really right next door to the place where me and my daughter take guitar lessons. Is, do you do you ever go and just grab an ear of corn and just munch on it? I didn't realize it was there once again, and I walk right by it every day. <laughs> it could have been on fire and you wouldn't have <laughs> noticed it. No, but it's really all local. Uh, they like like we said, they make they cure their own meat. Uh, except for the ham, I think she said yeah, that was yeah. that took a little longer process. They didn't have the facilities for it. And when you when you order, you actually they have a, a whole bunch of drinks to, to choose from. It's and like, the drinks are like nine nine cents. And there's no way these these drinks are cost more than nine nine cents. They're losing <laughs> money on the drinks. It's and like so a, I got swamp water for the second week in a row. Yeah. Actually, this is the uh, the different version of swamp water. It's this called the, the Arnold Palmer. This is the Yankee version. This is the, the Arnold which Palmer. is half iced tea, half uh, um, lemonade. And by the th you know we had three sandwiches tea between the two of us. And we didn't really have room for this, for dessert, but I, I decided to take some home. And dessert is crazy there. They have so much dessert. This like is everything a, else, they're they're making them fresh. They're making them every day. This is cheesecake. This is a thin mint cheesecake. So I guess it's seasonal for as long as their supply of thin mints lasts. Don't make something different every day. You have to check the Facebook see what they're going to do. We ate this later, my girlfriend and I, and it was delicious. Oh. And the, yeah, they oh. also have carrot cake. Uh, they had a fantastic. That's a girl's in bleep attack. B blink attack. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Veronica. No. Uh, they they also have uh, cupcakes. She said that sell out every day. Oh my gosh! And you should see on the Facebook they have all these pictures of different cupcakes yeah. they've done. Some amazing cupcakes. This, I mean, this is like believe. this is like a, a, a wonderful lunch place in one of those little boutique bakeries all in one. Exactly. Exactly. And, and when you walk in the restaurant, so you, this, is, this is the view you get, and it, look, it, it's so kind of uh, casual, very right. nice. Uh, um, you order right there at the counter there, and that, that's Mark right there, right? Right, and then uh, you can see the sweets case there that's empty because it was near the end of the day because they really do sell out. They really yep. do sell out. And the, yep. she said the kids get upset when they come in and there's no cupcakes because yep. their parents slacked off and didn't take them soon enough. <laughs> and here's a view of the kitchen, and this is a big open kitchen, something they really wanted. I mean, you, this, is, this is the view from the counter. We didn't peek behind the, the door or Yeah, anything. you see everything. You they're, see everything. They're not hiding anything there. And there's Mark, uh, I guess, uh, getting some... A sandwich ready, and he brought us out. He was he was trying to perfect his baguette. That's right. And uh, he brought us out a sample. <laughs> it was <laughs> really fantastic. good. Really, really. He brought like... us out a sample of his baguette. He said, "This is what I'm working on. I haven't perfected it yet, but 
I couldn't taste that it wasn't perfect. I mean, honestly, it was it was fantastic. The best adventure lunch we've ever been on. This is this is real, and and you may accuse me of nepotism, I guess the family connection, uh, but this really I've was. I've accused you of worse. I know. We talked about that. <laughs> this is really the best place we've eaten. Yeah, by fantastic. Far. I can't recommend it enough. I wish they were open later so I could go by and grab a sandwich on, on the way home from work. Oh, and we talk about the, the pulled pork. Wednesdays. They did the pulled pork yesterday, and uh, on the Facebook, they had people out the door. And they do it Memphis style, which means uh, they put the coleslaw on top of the pulled right. pork inside the sandwich. Fantastic. Good stuff. So, and they also did a split, uh, a split pea soup yesterday, too. But the pulled pork is, is what draws the people in. She says you have yeah, to line up. It. and this is, a, this is a very uh, appointment We appointment can't say sandwich. enough about this place. Really? I mean, do we even need to, do, all right, on a 1 to 10 scale? I'm a 10. I, I, I mean, 9.8 or something. I, I know I yelled you know at Lorena I mean? last week for giving something a 10, but I mean, this is as close to a 10 as we've gotten so far. Go I, and try it. Just go and try it. Really, you may, gotta go maybe, and try it. Maybe if they were open a little later, they'd get the full 10. Because it'd, be it'd be a fantastic dinner, too. This is not your So, So the only thing we're gonna knock them on is not being open long enough. And I think that, <laughs> and, I, and I think they have the customer base to be open later, yeah, eventually. Yeah. I mean, once yeah. they get to, you know, they, they have three people working there that run the place. And I think they're so passionate about it, they don't want to let anybody else run the place. They want to, they want to be there all the time, you right. know what I mean? Right. No, Which was, may have to do with the hours. Let us know. If you want to join us, email me at jaredkingery at woaitv.com. Or me at cyberbob at woaitv.com. And if you have a suggestion for us, like if you have some place, if you think you can top four kings, we want to hear it. Definitely. Because this is by far, this is, this is set the bar pretty high on Adventure Lunch. Everything else is probably going to be a disappointment. Uh, let us know. And I guess, I guess uh, that's all we have for this week. Have an adventurous lunch! Have an adventurous lunch! Bye! Mm -hmm.